Hello everybody, Retro Rocket Man here. Today we're going to paint a couple of toy smash up derby cars. These were um, pretty popular even when I was quite young. Um, this is a later incarnation of the uh, of the game. Have two cars, players, and they pull a rip cord which runs through the body of the car and um, you try to smash them in each other and the uh, cars are spring-loaded so that when the bumpers connect with anything solid the doors and the bonnet or hood flies off so I just thought I'd um, go ahead and paint these these um, toys to make them look a bit more like uh, what you might actually see out on a smash up derby demolition derby um, event uh, so I started off by sanding them just roughly nothing too too fussy about make this the uh, plastic surface a bit easier to paint and then I cleaned them off with some uh, uh, methylated spirits to get rid of any loose, loose particles or dust Now I'm painting the colour, the original plastic with an undercoat from a rattle can just to uh, mute down the uh, bright colours of the car. And once I did that I sprayed them with um, a silver chrome finish and then once that was dry, I brushed on some hot dog sauce. Works like a mask. I just put these in areas where I want the silver to still come through after I've actually painted the colour on. So I'm quite random. The, the whole um, point of this exercise is to um, be able to show more of a rustic, beaten, chipped paint effect. Now I'm painting uh, the colour directly over the silver and the hot dog sauce once the hot dog sauce had dried. Um, I'm only using a, a rough brush approach because again th these cars tend to look more like they've been roughly painted naturally because they're going to be smashed up anyway so uh, they don't really have a very good uh, paint finish on them so that, that lends well with the, uh, with, with the brush effect. Now I'm rubbing in some eyeshadow once the red paint had dried. Um, this is like gives it a, a different sort of a hue, if you like. Um, it's just some makeup, uh, nothing fancy. Just to give it, this particular eyeshadow is, is a purpley metallic finish and it seems to complement the red quite well. It gives it a, just a different bit of a look, um, more of an aged look in the, in the paint, if you like. I'm purely just rubbing it in with my finger, just being being um, random, not being too fussy again, because again these cars are going to look like they've been through a lot of battles. As you can see, the colour of the bright colour of the red paint is now sort of changing to a more muted, almost uh, maroon metallic look to it, just to give it a different feel.
now the, the uh, paints have all properly dried I am now picking off the areas where I applied the hot dog sauce and as you can see the paint comes away quite easily um, again this is a random um, random approach just to give the paint that look of chipped worn damaged duco just scratching it away with my nail um, and it comes off quite easily the end result is quite quite dramatic definitely looks like a junkyard car Now to apply my old favourite, some black shoe polish, just in the areas at this moment uh, where the silver is coming through. What this will do is give the silver a rather aged and worn and exposed look and it dulls down the, the brightness of the chrome to give it a more realistic effect if you like to uh, the fact that the car has been through a lot of damage and I'm dabbing away the uh, excess now going not going too heavy with the shirt polish because um, it's a rather subtle effect but rather dramatic as well So this is the end result from the uh, shoe polish over the silver. As you can see, it's stained parts of the red paint that remain behind, which is all good and well. It gives, gives it that really dirty, grungy look. Also, a touch of brown shoe polish was, was used in there just to accent it even further, to, to give us a, a bit of a rusty look. Um, and that's been applied to, to all the, pretty much all the silver areas. Quite dramatic. So the black was black and brown was applied to the to the engine bay as well to give it a, a bit of a dirty engine look as well. You can see. Just the random paint chipping and, and rust dirty effects just gives it much more of a world used look. Moving inside to start the uh, final painting of painting process, and that's hand painting on some numbers, as you would see in a smash up derby event. Um, obviously, this is a hand painted to look like an ad hoc amateur paint job, because naturally, in in the in these events, these cars will get trashed, so they don't want to go to too much trouble to give them a nice paint job. So I'm just keeping in with that, that uh, concept. This is also um, appeals to my painting talents being quite amateurish. But it gives, gives a very good um, end result. You can imagine these cars out in an arena smashing into each other.
now it's time to put a bit of a detail on the on the actual wheels and tires um, I'm using a eyeshadow again just to dust up dirty down the tires we don't want them looking like they've just been uh, bought from a tire dealer um, so I'm dirtying them down just with a bit of eyeshadow again more makeup this stuff seems to work quite well it gives us it gives me that dirty effect and I'm just going to use different colors just to give the slightly different accents and these are quite effective on the, uh, on the shiny plastic looks like the tires have been through some, uh, through some mud and dirt makes it look like it belongs on the car carefully wiping off any excess and uh, these these will naturally be sealed with a, uh, a clear matte finish varnish to protect them so they don't rub off and this is the final result Quite a dramatic difference from how they started off. Um, I'm very happy with the end result. It's um, it pretty much come out how I hoped. They look like they're they're ready for battle in the arena to the death. Once off, smash up derby cars. Gentlemen, start your engines.